Hi, this is Ben at Boeing RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're going to be looking at our brand new 2020 284 DBH Cherokee. So here's a travel trailer and <clears throat> got some very nice features. Good size for the family with lots of sleeping. One deep slide makes for a lot of room but not too big for you. So we have some storage down below here is not pass through. One thing you'll see there though is that this unit does have a solar panel up on top. So right up front here we have our power tongue jack. Nice bright light to help you get going. This is going to come with the 27 series battery, a little bit deeper, stronger battery. Outdoor, outdoor shower, hot and cold. Your water connections there on the side. Really nice big windows when you come around the side here. So when you talk about, you know, sitting with the family, eating dinner, you get a nice view of outside. What really matters when you're camping. This storage here is underneath our bunks. So even though we don't have that pass through, we still have a lot of ample storage down below. This is a dual axle unit. Our stabilizer jacks right there, and our dump tank in the back. And on top of, you know, the storage under the bunks, you do have the fold-down rack. Works great for bikes, coolers, a lot of oblong things, and it is prepped, pre-prepped for a backup camera. You know, you got to bring the dogs along. Spot to hook them up at the campground. And one thing that is really nice when it comes with family and kids. You can keep your unit clean by having a door right from the outside that comes in and there is an automatic light so at night time when you're coming in here you need to use the bathroom you don't have to worry about finding that light switch you can easily just step in and the light will come on big medicine cabinet you do have a fantastic fan up top keep it nice and fresh in the bathroom nice big sink and let's step back outside and your awning, it does go all the way past where your TV would be with your outdoor speakers. Cable hookup and one 10 plug-in. You do have an outdoor kitchen set up with two burner stove. A little sink flips out. You have a hot and cold shower you can use for water or you have two outdoor showers. Ice maker and then your electric fridge. Keep those cold beverages in for the, yourself and the rest of the family. Black tank flush, you gotta have that. I'm sure everybody that never had one has some stories to tell you. Down below here by our outdoor kitchen, we do have an LP quick connect. So you can either hook up that for your stove top right there, uh, or you can use your own gas grills if you wanna use a different setup. Now really, really big window here that goes all the way down inside. This is a recliner. You can set it up any way you want, but it's nice to have that. You know, any views you have from inside makes a big difference, especially if it's a rainy day or if you're just waking up and want to see the sights. The whole point, again, of getting out camping is enjoying the outdoors. We got the stairs that come all the way down. Really easy to get in and out. You know, if you wake up early, you don't have to worry about waking everybody else up. You got some hooks right when you step in for coats, different things to hang, stay organized. You have a recliner right here, so they give you a little bit of everything. You can angle that in, um, you know, enjoy time with the rest of your family and friends. Nice big U-shaped dinette for a lot of people to fit around. Couch that lays down to a jackknife sofa, and our U-dinette makes into a nice big bed as well. One-piece countertops. Don't have to worry about any seams splitting, anything like that. Even though not a ton of counter space, they do a great job. They give you the stove top, the sink for additional counter space, and these new Furion fridges that to me they just they seem a little more efficient. And fridge and freezer a little deeper in there as well. So this is gonna be our bathroom from the inside. Again, motion sensor light, nice big sink, and it's backed by the kids' beds. So if they need to get up, they're not waking you up either. USB 110 hookups. You're gonna have a, 
a window in both spots with their own individual lights they can control. And it is nice, not every unit will have a ladder to get up top. Sometimes the little things that make a big difference. And really good sized pantry. So not just that it's a good sized pantry, but there's also ample room, you know, basically in front of the pantry. So if you want to put other things down on the floor, you could. And one thing that's kind of neat with these new shades that they got is that if you want to have them blacked out, you can. But if you want it kind of in between with some light coming through, that's an option as well. Over by our TV setup, we do have a electric fireplace, which if it's a little chilly, you can, you know, take that chill off the air. And you can also, you know, just have the light on for a little ambiance. If you're watching a movie or something like that, it does pump out some pretty good heat when it is hooked up. And then that's going to be our Fury on radio, Bluetooth capability on that as well. Cable hookups up top. Walking into the bedroom, nice deep storage on both sides. And you have a spot to charge your Bluetooth speaker, 110 plug-in. And on that side, we're going to have the same as well. One thing about this bedroom is you do have space up front for what I like to call a true walk around bed. Because some are, but it's they're very tight. And you do have your USB plug in there, windows on both sides. And a nice closet here. So you got two hanging storage spots and a nice deep closet all for your main bedroom. And you do have a spot marked for your back or if you want to put a TV in here. But again, just for me to easily walk in front of the bed, that's a very big deal. And a lot of space in this unit, a lot of different capabilities, a lot of floor space for spending time together. And if you have any questions on this unit, if you'd like to see more or see any specific spots, please let me know. Again, my name is Ben. My number is 507-402. 2254 you can text me call me if you like this video please hit the like button we got many more videos to come so please subscribe and we'll see you again soon thanks